Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from Our Half Acre Homestead with the last garden update of the year. Look, for starters, I have to go through here soon and pick all these big beans and bring them to hang them to dry for seed for next year. I got them all there. Look at the spinach and the kale. Still going. But look, this is the biggest rutabaga harvest I have. Like some of these are small because I didn't pull them like that. But look, it is rutabaga bounty. Like seriously, that's my hand. And that's, that's not even out of the ground. Let's look at our parsnips. Gracie, what are you doing? Because remember I said I had like two good sized parsnips and some babies? Well, these things spread out. I thought they came up looking like carrots, but look at this, guys. Look, there's one right there. There's one right there. <sighs> That one's probably too small. But these, look at the size of this root of this parsnip. You would think that there's a whole bunch in here, but that's that's just one plant. Wow. Wait a minute, is that garlic? Is my garlic coming back now that it's fall? I thought I killed it all. Let's have a look. Huh. Maybe it's an onion. So, I pulled up, like seriously, look, this, these are for seed, but some of these have gone moldy, so I've got to, I got to come out here and pick, look, there's still bloody blossoms on these things. See, these all have to be come out and picked and be harvested. Hopefully it'll be sunny tomorrow. Now... I pulled up, or thought I pulled up, all my zucchini plants, tossed them over there, but the spinach just keeps coming. But these just keep growing. I don't think there's any zucchinis in here. Oh my God, look. Look. Holy cow. Like seriously. It's time. Look at this. I want. I wanted a, this one here, dear, so you can people can see actually how big it is. Yeah, I know. Careful. Now hold that up in both your hands. Look at the size of that turnip. There's a butcher knife in there. You just watch your hand. Just chop off the leaves and throw them in the ravine. Like chop off at the top of the blue part. Yeah. Blue part, purple part. Yes, folks, if you were really hungry, you could boil those greens, chop them up, boil them to get the bitterness out, and then boil them again and stir fry them and they'd be fine. We wanted to wait until the first frost, but we just haven't had one yet. Well, close. Aren't these beautiful? Best, oh, that oh. That one's missing a half. Let me see. It's hollow. <laughs> Oh, that's well, sad. Hopefully they just ate that one. Yeah, let's hope. I was very excited with the size of all of these. Mm. Yeah, just cut the roots off like that. Boom. Get your nose, Gracie. What? Gracie, Gracie, oh. move. You're just throwing them into the other garden beds. No, I gotta clean it all out. Yeah, I know. Room. Trees. Mint or is it something else? Let me see. Give me a piece. I think it's... I don't think so. It might be stinging nettle. <laughs> Cut the dirt off into the into the box. Yep. Yeah. One box or the other. Yeah. Guess what I'm doing tomorrow. 
can of turnips and carrots. What? Oh, it's a, yeah, a rotten leaf. Just pull the leaf off. Yeah, it felt like a nasty slug. It was, it was a, a rotting leaf. This one's, this one's okay. Look at that, bed's ready to plant again. Okay, well, lift the pail and tell me how many pounds you got. I'm going to say 15. <laughs> I don't know. 10, 15 pounds? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, dear. Just put them on the porch. I am now going to pick the beans that I allowed to go to seed. Now I'm going to lay them out on a tray on paper in the porch and let them dry. <clears throat> oh, we'll put that in the goulash tonight. See what I mean, folks? Let's see if I can split this open for you. See, these will dry and they'll be seed for next year. Oh my, oh my goodness. Papa picking peppers in his PJs. <laughs> wow, I didn't even see those yesterday. You know what? I might just chop them up and freeze them. You look right down in that whole big hold that one up it looks like a tree i don't know how that happened but my plants really loved me this year yeah leave them go until we get a frost they can still grow remember how bitter the small ones were oh ah Don't let even these go to waste, folks. That's next year's seed. Well, other than my parsnips right there, and maybe a bit more kale, the garden is done. And here are my bean seeds for next year. I'm gonna take them in the house, lay them out on a tray, big tray in the porch with some paper towel on it to dry them. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying, and that is your last garden update that I'm aware of for 2021. Take care. God bless.